after attracting at least a modicum of popularity among New Orleanians, the Normals are pioneers of a brand of rock music known as New Wave. Nancy Walden has a report on the Normals and what's known as New Wave. the normal and according to a number of New Orleans music aficionados they're just about the best local new wave band around they've been together for about two years playing in local clubs several nights a week they play high energy music they play it loudly over buzzes and hums and sound systems and they say new wave has plenty of riders it's like a, a renourished form of music that was popular when the Beatles came over. It was, it's the same impact. It's like uh, a brand new kind of music which, which makes you want to dance. It makes you happy. It's kind of like it gives you something to do even though things are boring. And uh, two years ago, things were very boring. And in college, I just started college and it was real boring. Yeah. How is it different, though, from, say, rock and roll or rhythm and blues? It's got the rhythm and blues, you know, attitude, you know, the real lot. Uh, you got to sing your inner, inner soul out, you know. The normals are young. Bruton, guitar and vocal, is 21. Steve Walters on bass is 22. Chris Luckett, the drummer, is 20. And Charlie Hansen, guitar and vocal, is 24. Bruton and Luckett have known each other since kindergarten, and like Walters, they're Jefferson natives. Already, suburban life has furnished plenty of inspiration. Yeah, we write all of our own music. We, there's very few songs that we don't, that we haven't written ourselves, we do. If, they, if we haven't written them, they're, they're very old. They're tell me, now. give us an idea, tell me some of the titles, some of the things it's about. Okay, there's one song called Almost Ready, I'll tell you about. That's, that was the first 45 we ever did. That's uh, it's like teenage love, things like that. You're almost ready to fall in love, stuff like that. And uh, that's one of the lighter things you write about. The, the other side of the record was called Hardcore. And that's, just, that's like the, uh, you know, the, uh, the rough side of life, you know, the, the hardcore. It happens anyway, even though you, know, you don't want it to. They have done some borrowing in style. The hairstyle is kind of like David Bowie, you know. Except, you know, this was a lot longer. But the hairstyle is like David Bowie, the, uh, the music styles like the Beatles and the Dave Clark Five, a lot of energy. The, uh, the image has got to be neat. You got to have a neat image. You can't go out there with bell bottom pants anymore. That's how bell bottoms are neat. Yeah. See, like, that's why our hair goes up this way, because we, st we wear straight legs, you see. It goes that way. You remember back in the 60s, the hippies had long hair, so they went like this, with the bell bar. We, we branched out a different way, and that's just the way we're looking at it. The normal fans have a distinctive look, too. A lot of the girls that come see us, you know, a lot, a lot of them tease their hair. It looks like they're waiting in line to get under the hair dryer at the beauty parlor. You know, the hair's really like that, you know? But uh, it's just a self-expressional thing. People like to do that, they like to be different. I mean, you wouldn't go to church looking like that, but you can come to Jed's and see the normals like that. And everybody here, you know, appreciates that. And there's always the people that come here just to look, just, just to get a kick out of it. But they, after all, they are spending money to get in, so they, they're keeping me alive, you know? And some of their fans are quite vocal about their music. During a break in the action, we asked why. I mean, I'm in a new wave band myself, I guess, but um, we don't go around killing our girlfriends or nothing like that, you know? It's just got a bad name, but it's not really that bad. And all that stuff's in fun, you know? With the mangle and all that kind of dances is in fun. It's just the music of the time. It's just come late to America. You talk to people in America and you talk about punk, and they say, oh, that came here and went. 
that fashion change, you know, to straight people. And then you come here and it's not, it's just developing. I like music that's loud, energetic, fun, you know, music that grabs you by the and doesn't let go. Do you think this music is too violent? No, it's not violent enough. Do you think it's going to last? It'll last in my heart. I don't care what anybody else says. I like it, and it'll last as long as I listen to it. Bruton himself says his parents are proud of his work. Yeah, my parents never uh, read up on it that much. They, uh, they've only seen me, so they like it. I mean, they heard it in the Sex Pistols, but I, I, t I straightened them out on that, you know. But uh, they really like it. They like it. Last time they came and seen us, they, uh, my uncle and you know, all my parents came. They were all dancing with the kids. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it did something to them. It must do something, you know. It, it's got a, there's a message in it for everybody, I think. that the time has come for new wave in New Orleans. Oh yeah, we're, in fact, they've, they've heard us so much now, we're going on tour. We have, we've been playing so much that we've played, they've heard us too much. If we stay here too long, they'll just, you know, grow tired of it. You know, you can take so much day in and day out. New Orleans is a great town. I mean, once something catches on here, everybody goes nuts for it, you know. And the disco got real big. Although I think that's on the way out now, too, here. And I don't know, well, I don't know what's going to happen next with that. But the kind of music we're doing, we can, uh, we can still build on our ideas. We have lots, a long ways to go with them. <laughs>